Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have something very interesting to discuss. New rumors pertaining to the next installment to the Mac operating system, OS 10.12, which will of course be unveiled next month at Apple's annual Worldwide Developers Conference, which is why we're actually here with a screen recording on OS 10, because it's fitting. So over the past couple of days, some really awesome rumors have started to circulate throughout the Apple blogosphere, suggesting what will undoubtedly be two of the primary features of OS 10.12, the first of which, as you may have already guessed by this image and the title is of course Siri. So ever since the personal virtual assistant was introduced alongside the iPhone 4S, the rumors indicating that it will make the transition to the desktop and laptop space on Mac have been plentiful to say the least. However, every year they've fallen short until now. New word from Mac rumors suggests that OS 10.12 will be the first Mac update to actually feature the virtual assistant, and according to their credible sources who leaked them two screenshots, it will have at least two activation methods. So the first of which, of course, will be via the dock. So in this screenshot, we have the Finder icon, a new one, and then Launchpad and Safari. Of course, we have the three familiar ones in our dock right here. However, the one that we don't have is the second one, which is very reminiscent of the Siri waveform UI that we have on iOS. OS 9 that was inspired by the Apple Watch version of Siri. So it looks like it may finally be making its way to the Mac, and this will be one of the activation methods, again through the dock. Presumably just clicking it will bring it up, and then the second activation method will actually be in the top menu bar. Of course here on OS 10.11 we have the Spotlight, and then we have Notification Center, whereas in the screenshot Siri actually sits in the middle of those two. And while this particular image would be extremely easy to fake in something like Photoshop, they likely didn't because of course this is coupled with the previous image that we just talked about and the word of what is allegedly Mac Rumors credible source. So I'm really excited for Siri and if it's anything similar to what we have here inside of this 9 to 5 Mac concept rendering, we can definitely expect that it won't be full screen but instead kind of similar to the notifications that we have inside of OS 10. See, it won't be like Siri on the iPhone or the iPad or even the iPod Touch in the sense that it takes up the entire screen of the device, just instead that it's kind of off to the side, that it's unobtrusive, and that it's streamlined. So this looks like a pretty cool design. The only thing that of course is different here is that the activation method inside of the top menu bar is a microphone inside of 9to5Max rendering, whereas in reality it may just simply say Siri. However, they actually got the placement right. This image was released quite some time before this latest leak, which of course was just a couple of days ago. What do you think? Do you hope that Siri will come to the Mac? Let me know down below in the comment section. Next up, we have biometrics, specifically where unlocking Macs are concerned. Not only similar to Touch ID, but exactly like Touch ID. And the reason for that is because instead of actually activating via some sort of hardware method, be it implementation into the trackpad, keyboard, mouse, or some other form of accessory for Mac, it will actually be tied to Touch ID on the iPhone. So essentially it will auto unlock when an iPhone is within close proximity. Now there are definitely other third party solutions that actually offer this very feature right now for Mac. Of course we have a screenshot from one right here. However, this one will be implemented in a first party manner utilizing Bluetooth 4.0 LE or low energy technology, similar to a combination of how the Apple Watch unlocks and handoff, which of course uses Bluetooth Bluetooth 4.0 to do things such as taking over from your device where you kind of left off onto your Mac. So it will be a combination of the two essentially. And for those of you that are unfamiliar with how the Apple Watch can unlock using the iPhone, essentially all a user has to do is either unlock via Touch ID or input their password or passcode into their iPhone. And essentially it unlocks the Apple Watch provided they have that feature set up. So it appears as though Apple is trying to do something similar with the Mac. I think that that could really be an awesome implementation because instead of forcing people to either buy a third party accessory or completely upgrade their laptop, let's say, which will make use of a new sort of fingerprint sensor similar to Touch ID on existing devices, they use just that, existing devices with Touch ID, so that way older Macs will be able to use it, anything with Bluetooth 4.0. So I really am looking forward to OS 10.12. Those are some really awesome features and finally I think that Apple may be taking OS 10 in a really awesome direction. Direction. OS 10.11 I felt like was pretty lackluster. Let's hope OS 10.12 changes
is that? Again, are you excited? Let me know down below in the comment section. And of course, don't forget to stay tuned for complete coverage on WWDC. Click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to, and then just like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Eye device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.